All right, we want to turn our attention this morning to a health alert. This week, a new study was released about the nation's drinking water. Researchers found that nearly half of the tap water in the U.S. contains potentially harmful compounds known as forever chemicals. Mark Strassman takes a in-depth look at a new technology that could make so-called forever chemicals disappear. Nasty cargo, 10,000 gallons of landfill water laced with PFAS, a known carcinogen that nothing could get rid of until now. We are concentrating the nasty stuff to allow the annihilator system to treat it. Not just treat PFAS, blast them out of existence. These so-called forever chemicals are man-made, used in Teflon, firefighting foam, even facial makeup, and previously indestructible. This is where the PFAS Go away. Destroyed. That's correct. Last year, we showed you Battelle, a nonprofit research institute doing a small scale field test, distilling water into PFAS concentrate, the really nasty stuff, for destruction. It worked. A technological first, leaving behind water and salts harmless to the environment. You've got to have enough force and energy to break those bonds. Now, another first, scaling that technology like this forklift carrying the concentrate for treatment. The PFAS annihilator lives inside this converted cargo container. With heat and pressure, it blasts the PFAS concentrate. These forever chemicals gone without a trace within seconds. Here in Grand Rapids, this retooled water treatment plant is North America's first permitted PFAS remediation facility. Were you convinced it would work? We had a lot of hope that it would. So how scalable? Is it? It could be much more scalable, much larger than this. This plant's treating a half million gallons a week. The market seems virtually limitless. This is only the tip of the iceberg of us being able to get this scalable technology to market and to customers. For the first time, nothing about PFAS is forever. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Grand Rapids, Michigan.